Good Canadian morning all you subscribers watching out home. We're at it again doing some fishing. Got my fishing buddy here with me, Rob. We are, again, we're on the Thames. Not sure what we're after today. Whatever's gonna bite, I suppose. But the first time, when we first got here, I'll show you this area in a second, we looked out and I can still see two swimming right there. You can see those little ripples in the water. It's kind of hard to tell if I've got them on screen. But there are two gars swimming right there. Another one right behind it. And we've got an awesome little fishing spot. We've got a canopy here. Car's only right there. Rob's got his chair. He's good to go. He's rocking. Here we go. Let's have outer enough talking. Let's get to some fishing. Look at that. You can see them so easily. Well, the camera's rolling. I'll show you guys. Just picked this up from Jack's Bait and Lures in Delaware. It's Carolina rig kit. You can also do your Texas rig with it. Delaware, Ontario. Delaware, Ontario. Thank you. Yes. Because this is, you know, a Canadian program you're watching. Eh? Eh? No, I think I wanted my weight. Let me change that. Activity, then no activity. Mm -hmm. Maybe we got some more professional worm strippers. You got line in the water? <clears throat> Gar in the river? All kinds of shit in the river. All kinds of fish in the river. It's going again. Yep. Well guys, peaceful as this little spot is, and the nice shade, and this two different distinct species of fish, I think we got catfish and gar out here, but nothing's biting, nothing's biting, we had a little nibbles, they messed up the worms a bit, but you know, I think it's time we go stand in the river. How do you feel about that, my friend? Hey, there you go. Alright, he got his uh, wet shoes that he dedicated for river walking. Yeah, see, we got some more kayakers heading out. We got a couple kayakers down there that just going through the rapids as we speak. Oh yeah, good way to spend the day. So, being that we don't have kayaks, we're gonna go stand in the water. We'll see you guys at the at the river, this same river, just downstream. And here we are, just like that, back to Delaware. We already got a rob out in the water. Letting a lot of line out. So I already have a worm on the hook. Look at these, I want to harvest it all these guys last night. Put them in the shade so they don't cook. Look at that, there's a big old bundle of worm on there. Some weights. Gonna go, whoa, gonna go on out and just give her a send. Have a sip of coffee. Oh, blazing hot still. That is an awesome thermos. All right, let's get out there before Rob catches all the fish on us. Yeah. Yeah, you know, if you're ever in a pinch for river shoes, just go hit Giant Tiger or Cheap section at Walmart, away you go. Yeah, that's what these are, cheap section at Walmart, 25 bucks. I think that's all these were. Yeah, I want to go... Well, we'll find out. I think I might almost want to take uh, one of my weights off.
Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, now it's starting to fight. Yeah, I thought you were yanking my line. <laughs> I wasn't yanking anybody. Man. Oh man, he don't want to come into this shallow, that's for sure. Oh, what is it? A nice size one. You're lucky I didn't catch him on Wow, that. that's a nice size fish. I have no idea what kind of fish it is. I gotta do my tension here. Ooh. Let's get right in here. Can you grab the uh, other camera in my backpack? Wow, what the heck is he? I don't even know. Folks at home, what the heck we got here? Heck, come on, get in the water. And the red button? Yeah. Right on. I have no idea what he is or how much he weighs. That hook is... He center. Well, I see no teeth. You see any teeth? No. I have no idea about this fish, but I'm about to try and lip it. <laughs> I'm probably going to need the pliers out of my bag, too. What is he? Carp. No, oh, it's no carp. I don't know. Let's see how you're... Uh, no, I don't know if I want to do that, because I can feel that fine row of teeth there, whatever it is. And you can't grip them well enough. What about the gill? I fucking hate doing this. I really hate doing this. Just like this? Yeah, I don't even have them by the gill here. Fuck, what do we do with this, Rob? Well, your next bet would be maybe to do my trick and He's... step on the side of him on the rock over there. Because if I can get a hold of him, I can get this out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Can you grab my pliers at the bottom of the toolbox? I'm stopping this. Yeah, yeah, you don't, we don't need to record this part. Well, I see no teeth. You see any teeth? No. I have no idea about this fish, but I'm about to try and flip it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Can you grab my pliers and bottom of the toolbox? Yeah. Oh, we'll call this spot the sweet spot. Oh, he spit it. No way. Yep. I saw you chasing around. You had him. I did. Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, I'll try again. I didn't have it set well enough. Well, guys, just one fish was caught today. We've seen a lot of cool ones though at the previous spot. I hope those show up on camera. You know, Rob had quite a few bites, but they just kept stealing his worm. They didn't want to get hooked. <laughs> Every fish should want to get hooked. <laughs> but now it's uh, it's time for us to be leaving the water, and in lack of extra catches. Here's a couple catches we got the other night when we were out at hmm, Talbot Creek. Hey all you fishing fanatics, what's going on? We're back at it again already. We've been doing a lot of fishing lately, as you will see in the next few upcoming videos. What else do you do? You know, everybody's all locked down in their COVID quarantine scenarios. So we say, screw it, we're going fishing. Here we are at... Uh, another location that I have yet to show you guys on the channel. This is, let me think, let me think. Port Talbot, yeah. Talbot Creek. So here's the worms we're working with today. I forgot to put them in the fridge. Hey, that one's still moving a little. Yeah, they're not dead then. They're not completely dead, but I mean, they're dead when you put them in the water anyways. A little tighter. Oh, he's got one. I don't know if we could, yeah. You recording? Yes. Oh, right on. Okay, I'll flip her on up. Cat. Cat, yes. Oh, I'm getting your feet. Okay, I'm not too used to grabbing cats, but I'm pretty sure I can grab right around their fins, right? Yes. Oh, you, oh yeah, you're fucking slick. I don't have to worry about his whiskers? I it's don't the think fins? So. I don't think so. Oh, you bugger. You know, he swallowed her? Yeah, where's my pliers? All right, catfish released. That was pretty cool. My first cat, my first fish on uh, Talbot Creek. 
Yeah, and that was a worm, wasn't it? Yeah, that was just, um, yeah, that was on worm. That was on a dead worm. Mm -hmm. Nasty, stinky dead worms. But uh, it worked. That was different than a bullhead, too. It wasn't a yellow bullhead cat, which I've caught on the kettle. So, one more fish to chalk up. I could have got a picture of him, but I was kind of just came more concerned. That hook was so far down, you couldn't even see it. So, let's continue fishing. Depends on how rotten that worm was, right? It's pretty rotten. <laughs> and I got problems dressing the hook because it was that soft. <laughs> it's pretty gooey. Just a little baby cat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that thing is so tiny. I, you can put that in the tank. Yep. Look at him stop. jump. Stop. <laughs> he ain't gonna Relax. stop. He ain't gonna. Oops, oh, sorry. <laughs> So my me just getting whacked by fishing equipment. <laughs> they settle down, I want to get a shot of you. Our tiniest little cat. Oh, he kind of looks like he ate it too. Well, you might be able to, I'll grab you the pliers. So just got a little couple of updates. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make a video with it, but I can definitely add this into other videos. All right, we'll leave you be with him. And I'll finish doing whatever the heck it was I was doing. My bobber is just out there, just occupying space. Well, guys, as you can tell, it's dark. We only caught, I caught that uh, first catfish, and he caught that little dink catfish. Get your minds out of the gutter. It's on, that's in small, little dinky-sized catfish. Half a fish. Half a fish. But that's still better than nothing. And have a look at this. I don't know how well that'll show up on the camera. But the fireflies got their rave lights on. They're out all across this little field area. Looks pretty cool. And then uh, for just the hell of it, a couple of more catches that Chewy and I got back at Waterworks Park in St. Thomas. One of the big ones, it's not the biggest one I've had. I think last week was a little bigger. Beauty. They just stay right in the pond too. They don't get out in the creek too much. I haven't landed any of those out in the creek. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. We might actually have something right here, guys. Oh, oh, I think we got something in line, folks. Once the camera was going. Come on back over this way. Over this way. Lost them. Oh. No. Did you guys see what it was? <laughs> Look at that devil catches, man! Yeah! <laughs> hey, high fish. <laughs> oh, you got a good male. Oh, yeah. Should be a nice and easy hook removal. Look at that, guys. Alright, uh, yeah. Don't flip on me. Don't flop on me. Hey. Quit that. Right on. How do you guys think of that? It's a little bit little. But uh, I know a fisherman that swears these things taste good. But just not out of here. Alright, ready? Keep going. Flop. That was awesome. We both caught a bluegill at the exact same time. I have no idea what he's got. It's fighting him like a snag. <laughs> Man, what do you got on there? I bet you it's a catfish. Got a good side one? Something's fighting me, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Hmm. No, with that kind of fight, it's got to be a cat. Yeah. Wonder if it's your buddy from last year.
This is why I... Oh. Oh. <laughs> is that why you set her deeper? Oh, yeah. Oh, Whoa. Yeah. Dude. You got some video to you? Um, you gotta double click the third on the bottom. Up a good bite. He is. That's right, tire. No, 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 no. You need to tire out, buddy. That's only about a foot and a half. Still a good sized cat though. Got some uh -huh. dual video going on. Now you gotta try and get down there. Yeah, I got my spot over here. No, no, no. He's gonna take your first swim. <laughs> He's like, lunch? <laughs> no, I think so. Probably scare. Especially when they're in the water. The catfish finds them. Dogs jump right out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not the friendliest things to catch. Wow, you got a big head on you, buddy. For the want of a shorter rod. I gotta get used to this for the salmon fishing, eh? Ah, something crawling up my arm. Lady over there jumped right off and took everything. <laughs> Holy crap! I need my pliers. <laughs> I wonder if this is the same guy that I got last. Yeah, I think he's bigger than the last one. Look at the size of whiskers on him. Nice big fat head. Uh, oh, that's a big head. Yeah. There you go. There's no way I was losing him. Give a nice close up for the vlog. Mm, look at him. Alright, there you go. Got, look, he's had some. Yeah, a few scuffs. Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. It's a lot of fun getting out here and doing this. And like I said, you're gonna see a lot more fishing videos coming up this summer. I mean, right on through. And then I guess we gotta take up ice fishing for the winter. It can happen. I did it last year. Why not do it again? We could try. I got warm clothes. <laughs> Anyhow guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed that beautiful fish. All them beautiful fish. And uh, tell all your friends about the random Andrew channel. We gotta hit that thousand subscriber mark soon. I always stutter when I say that. We'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great one. Yes.